Hey guys, how are you doing? I am really, really excited to announce that we have some new designs and also some new features for tangent templates. This is a big update. Um, it's one of many. We, we have a lot of plans for this whole system to keep updating, keep adding to it. We really, really appreciate all of your suggestions, requests that you've been sending us, and we're doing our very, very best to implement them all and put them into the system if it makes at all sense. So let's dive in and see what is new. So as you know, Tangent Templates is a really simple system that gives you interiors that you can use in your Create Space or KDP books. And they are all sized to the correct trim sizes for Create Space. And they are all really cool, different blank books, low content books that you can create and upload to Create Space. So where we left you last time, we had, uh, I think, 28 designs we are actually we've just added nine new designs and um, one of those designs has four variations so that's actually another 12 styles for you so let's scroll down and see what we've given you so the new styles are dun 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 Okay, we have ukulele tabs. These were requested um, by a couple of people actually. So I, I know ukuleles are big, big in Southern California where I am. I've actually been going in um, skate shops and I've seen ukuleles stacked up there with the skateboards. So they are a big trending thing at the moment. So we have ukulele tabs. Um, we have kanji practice paper. Now kanji practice, practice paper is awesome. It is for practicing Japanese writing. So it actually works uh, right to left and top to bottom. And that's how you would practice your kanji paper. We have Cornell Notes, which is a really popular note taking system, especially in Ivy League universities. So Cornell Notes, that was another thing we've been asked for. Now sketch paper, we have added sketch paper by popular demand. And what it is, is a blank paper with a, a rectangular uh, rounded corner space, a frame. Um, and the reason we've done this is because Create Space doesn't like you having more than three consecutive blank pages. And um, I know a lot of you wanted to put together sketch pads. Um, this lets you do it. This just gives you a blank space that you can sketch in, but also it has the frame around it so that Create Space don't flag it as a blank, as a purely blank space. Now we've added a couple of fun ones this time around. We've put in a sermon journal, which is really um, for books you can take to church to write down uh, notes about the sermon of the week. You can put down your sort of further thoughts and what the sermon was about, the Bible references, all of that kind of thing. Um, I think it works really well mixed and matched with some of the other papers and we're going to talk about that in a moment. We've also added spell paper. Oh my gosh. So um, I don't know if any of you are witches or warlocks or druids or any of those things. Um, but we thought it'd be a really fun thing to put in spell paper. It's something that's becoming really popular on Etsy and in a lot of handcrafted um those kind of websites and with a lot of people who have sort of new age tendencies and we thought it was kind of a fun one to put in there so um we've added in spell paper so you can make your spell books uh we've got french rule paper which is a kind of handwriting paper that is the standard in france and of course there are a lot of french schools in the us and especially in canada so um an another paper that we've added by request is french ruled paper and then our next new style is wide ruled lined dot, but that's a huge mouthful. Um, but what it is, it's really wide ruled paper with dots along the line. And we were actually given a similar version of this paper for my daughter by her occupational therapist. And she said it would help her space um, her letters along the line. So we thought that was a great style to include here. And then, now this is the really fun one. I think this might be my favorite. Some of the best selling blank books on Amazon are versions of comic book paper. 
so what we've done is we've given you four styles of comic book paper. You can see there's the three by three, um, there's a couple of mixy ones here, and there's the uh, three rows. And these are cool because you can use them for blank comic books and think about niching your comic books. Like think about different styles of comic books. There are superhero comic books. Um, some people just like drawing stick figures and um, simple ideas like that. Now, oh, and there's like manga comic books. A lot of people, my daughter loves drawing manga. Um, so lots of different styles of comic book that you could theme. But also, also, you could sell blank comic book or storyboard uh, books to people like YouTubers, marketers, video directors, cartoonists, because it works really well for storyboarding videos. That is like plotting out uh, what you're gonna do in a video. And for YouTubers, that is totally invaluable. So you could create a blank book um, for comic book artists or for YouTubers, or for anyone else who is making videos. Think media studies students, um, anyone who's making any, and, and in fact, you could even use it to storyboard theater projects as well. Um, so lot, a lot of scope for this. Now, you might also notice in this update, we have added these little information points. So check it out, when you click on that, it actually gives you some suggestions. So what I've tried to do with these descriptions, every single uh, style here has a description. And what I have tried to do is to give you suggestions where I can on how you can market the paper, how you can use it. Um, so for example, if we look at the hex skin paper, um, it says hex paper is popular with gamers of all kinds. It's ideal for drawing game maps. You can use it for tabletop and role play games. So think about keywords when you read these descriptions, because I've tried to sort of help you out with some keywords, um, or at least sort of give you a starting point with how you can use each of these papers. So there we go, we now have 40 styles. Um, we do have more coming. I know the two big ones that you guys are asking for are ledger paper in di with different column sizes and also um, yearly planners, like week planners, month planners, yearly planners. We are working on those. Those are taking us a little bit more work, a little bit more time, um, but we have them absolutely next on the list. So don't be sad if you don't see those here, they are coming. Um, bear in mind, the system has been out two months. It has been out two months, and I think this is our third update, um, and we're really, really looking at doing some major updates with this. Talking of which, let's move on because we have a few additional features in here. So the first one is a kind of a boring practical one. Uh, we now have the update log under support, so that's uh, really helpful. And also, if you scroll down to the frequently asked questions, uh, you'll see now it says, I have a question that isn't answered here, I still need help. You can click here, submit a support ticket, and open uh, a support case directly with us. So um, if, if it just makes the process of um, opening a support ticket, answering us, un asking us a question, it just makes that a little bit easier. So we've added support tickets, that's the first thing, which will streamline our support a bit more. Now, we've done a couple of other um, really exciting things, and I'm gonna show you the big one now. So hold back a minute, Actually, I'll show you one of the big ones. We've got two big ones. Let's get back to the interior files, okay? And this is really cool. So, you know, up till now, um, this is the screen that you've been looking at when you go to an interior. So it gives you 50 pages, 100 pages. We haven't changed that, but we are giving you an extra feature and you can actually use this instead now. What it is, it says generate your PDF. You can click here, choose the uh, trim size that you like and you can type in any page count you want. So you can put in 140 pages there and it will download a 140 page PDF for you. So um, there it is, see, 140 pages. So now you can make your books any size you like within Create Spaces boundaries. So that's pretty exciting. Um, we've left these in for you for now if you're used to this, um, but yeah, you can download the PDF 
in whatever size you want. And also if you want to edit, um, if you actually want to edit the designs, then you'll need to still get the zip file here of the uh, pre-made PDFs. So we don't actually have those available in the custom sizes yet. Um, but that's what we do have. We have So we have the, the pre-made ones still here if you want InDesign and Illustrator templates. But if you just want the PDF as is, you can totally just go in and generate that right now and it will download for you with whatever page count you want. Boom. Okay, now the really, really big cool new feature is the template builder. Oh my gosh, guys, this is like the coolest thing ever. So what you have here, um, this is your book. This is the first page of your book. This is the next two pages of your book. This is the last page of your book. And this lets you put in anything you want at the beginning. So you can put a blank page at the beginning of your book. Um, and then this is where it gets cool. So I talked about mixing and matching. So let's say, for example, you want to make um, a music and story book so that people can write sheet music on one page and they can write some notes about it on the other page. So let's choose, um, which paper's good for this? Let's use, um, I think we'll just use wide rule. Okay, so uh, we have sheet music paper on one side and wide rule paper on the other side. In fact, I'm gonna switch that around. I want it the other way around. Uh, so there's sheet music. And if you add two pages, it will fill that out for you again. And in fact, you can add 20 pages here. So we go add 20 pages. Okay, now we have um, a 25, 26 page book that has alternate wide rule paper and sheet music paper. And um, we can put something in at the end. We can put in um, just a wide rule paper at the end. And we can hit, we can choose whatever trim size we want. All of these are the standard trim sizes with create space. And we can hit download PDF and oops there it is it's gone off my screen there you go um we'll click that and you can see the pdf so there's the blank page at the beginning wide rule sheet music wide rule sheet music um it's in a really small size that's why it doesn't have the margin because the uh, really small size doesn't have the, the margin but this is a cool little pocket book if you wanted to sort of write notes and um, write you compose your sheet music. So what's cool is you could put the lyrics on one side, you could put the sheet music on the other. But what we want you to do with this, guys, is use your imagination, use your creativity to combine and intersect these different styles of paper. Um, and of course you can edit them. So you can change any pages. You can have like five different styles, you can have 10 different styles. And let me show you something cool. If we start um, a new PDF, so we're going to go back to the template builder. We're going to start again. Um, and what we can do, if we want to do like a comic book, we can actually mix and match these comic book styles. So you can have different styles of comic book paper and really mix it up however you want. So um, there you go. This would be a, a blank comic book, uh, blank book that you can draw all your comic book designs in and you have this PDF that's totally customized by you and unique to you. Um, so what we have now, we have 40 different styles of paper in 15 different um, trim sizes. So an infinite amounts of page counts. So now you're really starting to have very unique interiors. I know some people have said, well, what if everyone's using the same page interior? That's why I suggest like mix it up, um, try different ways of, uh, of skinning your interiors, find different purposes for these books, for, for these interiors. Like for example, I used uh, wide rule paper um, and instead of selling it as a composition book, as a standard wide rule composition book, I actually put sort of like an Arabic symbol on the front and said you can use this to practice Arabic writing because it's actually the same size and style. So get creative with these designs, 
graph paper for example we've put some ideas on here graph paper has many uses you don't just have to sell it as a graph book you can sell it as something as as something that people can use to map their board games you can sell it for people who are designing floor plans you can sell it to architects so you can have like architects graph paper um like you can use it for embroidery or cross stitch like i've put knitting on here but we actually have knitting paper they're, like there's a lot of different ways you can use these papers so get creative with it have fun with it oh and we've got one other thing let me show you one other thing um if you go to resources what we've done here is we've put in links to our free tools that are relevant for your create space books so um you may have already seen the inches to pixels converter uh that's really helpful for when you're designing with canva you can use this what we recommend when you design with Canva, don't use inches, use pixels to set up your uh, canvas so that it will save at the correct DPI at 300 DPI. So we've put the inches to pixels converter here. We also have a link to test check, which is our trademark checker. And what, what uh, test check will do is actually look on USPTO and see if any of the words you type in are currently being used as trademarks in books and it will let you choose between checking clothing or books or everything so if you're doing merch you can say i want to check clothing if you're doing create space or kdp you can say i want to check books if you just want to know if a word you're using in your title or description or book is a trademark in general you can leave that blank and just say i want to check all trademarks so we have a link to the test check here that you can just download uh, and have in chrome have running in chrome and this one is brand new the html listing helper so what this is uh and we actually i know a few of you asked for this in the group and some of you were posting to paid tools this is free if you have access to tangent templates i know the other ones i think you had to pay about five dollars a month um this is free for you to use as long as you have bought the templates um and what you can do here is put some information about your book so we can say uh sheet music and so and lyric songwriting book is perfect for and then you can put in a bulleted list um actually let's use the dots we can have uh, composers musicians uh people who like to sing and you can even put in a uh, bolded text and um italics basically it gives you the symbols and the formatting that create space allow you to use. They allow you to use very simple HTML in your descriptions. This is an HTML editor. Um, it also has special symbols. So if you want to put a trademark symbol, a copyright or registered symbol, it allows those. And when you've finished, you just say click to copy and it gives you the code. And you can paste that code directly into create space into the description box so there we go we have got a couple of fixes as well there's a couple of um, small updates that we've listed here uh, mainly to the ruled and isometric paper there was a very tiny barely noticeable um, slant on on one of the lines we've totally fixed that you shouldn't need to worry about that now um, so we've put that information in there if you have any questions about anything I mean check this out this is all the new designs are here they all have information on so you can learn more about them um, feel free to sort of play around with these mix and match them using the builder tool the builder tool is here we it is in beta um, it's a brand new feature we've had a few people test it and they haven't found any problems but it's a new feature if you do find any problems if you find any bugs any issues with anything with any of the new uh, templates if you have any concerns at all send a message to Isaac or me best yet go through the support system open up a ticket and we will be able to help you with that so i hope you really really enjoy all these new features you have the builder tool you have descriptions you have more ideas for what you can do with these um, templates and you have some new free tools so have a lot of fun with them all right guys let me know what you think